Hey, what's up everybody? <clears throat> Frankie Slauson here for another great Frankie Slauson show video, I guess, so we'll call it. And what are we doing today? Well, today we're going to go see a movie. And uh, originally I was going to go see the movie True Grip, but then I found out that the movie The Green Hornet is playing in town. And I really, really wanted to see that one because that looks more like a funny... I mean, I don't buy in serious, you know, serious uh, westerns and all that stuff or, or westerns that have a little bit of humor. But I like Seth Rogen. I think he's a very funny, you know, he's a very funny actor. And, that, you know, ever since I saw... What was the first one I saw that he was in? First movie that I saw. I think it was Super Bad, I think. And then... Or no, no, I think it was 40 year version. But I didn't realize that was him because he looked so different. So the 40 year version was the first one I saw that he was a part of. And then... What else was the other one? Then it was like Super Bad and then Knocked Up and stuff. Those I have in my collection. But... And I thought he was a really funny actor. And he has that funny laugh and everything, you know. <laughs> I remember when, uh, in the Knocked Up DVD uh, set or whatever, they had, uh, like, in the special features for, like, audio or whatever. They had, uh, uh, like, when you pick your language or whatever, what you want to hear it or whatever it is. Uh, they had, like, nothing but all the, all the moments where he laughed and whatnot. And, uh, you know, all the scenes where he was doing his funny little laugh. And I thought that was pretty funny, you know. Some people might get annoyed by it, you know. Some people might say, God, that's not funny at all. But I, I was pretty entertained. I, I was pretty... <laughs> it made me feel pretty good, that's for sure. But, uh, so that's what we're going to do today. Uh, then we're probably going to go out to Subway and get a bite to eat. And then I receive my, my friend John, maybe afterwards... But other than that, I think that's all that we're planning on doing today. So, once we get to the theater and all that, I'll let you guys know what's going on and uh, give you my review of The Green Hornet. So, we'll see you guys in a little bit. Got it? Wait, hold on. You California Set the headset level? Headphones right here. The state money. Okay, that's turning down. State oh. to return there we go. Government okay. cell phones. Cool, I didn't know which way to go on there. That working? Louder. Louder. That's it. That's it? Other way. This is CNN Radio. There we go. Oh, you lost me. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, there we go. Good evening, Think Forever Falls. It's time once again for the Tuesday Night Experiment back live where it should be on the airwaves of Pioneer 90.1 FM. Also online, RadioNorthland.org. I'm your host, Glenn Broggett, with you at 7.02 on this Tuesday evening. It's time to once again do our thing. Today we got a big guest at uh, around the 7.30 mark this hour. Oh, yeah! A, yeah, we have a doctor, our first doctor on the Tuesday Night Experiment. Oh, boy. Dr. Do Phil? No, no, you silly <laughs> fool. Dr. Rutledge Taylor, he's uh, going to be our guest. He's going to talk about a documentary film he put together called Three Billion and Counting. And we'll find out more about Three Billion and Counting at the bottom of the hour. But first, we've got to introduce the Soul Train Dancers. Oh, and then these two dudes that are sitting to my right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the uh, Tuesday Night Experiment players. And let's welcome once again, after the long holiday break, shaking and all together baking, the Blind Dog, Scotty Gilbert. What's up, my friend? Yo, what's up? Well, not too much. Uh, how did the holidays treat you, my friend? Awesome. Stayed away from eggnog. Well, that's always good. I know how you get with that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Did you, it was yeah. a good time. All good time. Yeah. What, what a storm that we had over the uh, the New Year's holiday. We I had, know, totally crippled, man. You know, and uh, we had a uh, Nor you know what's Nora's name? Norma Jean Russo? Nora Jean? Nora Jean. Nora yeah. Jean. Nora. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, we had her over the weekend, but then unfortunately, the whole thing in Grand Forks didn't work out. I didn't get a chance to check out the thing in Thief River. Did that one go as scheduled? Well, the Black Cat was awesome. Oh, cool. Did you go yeah. off it? Yeah, I was there. Yeah. Well, well, that's get a first hand account of it. Uh, what was what was it uh, in a nutshell, my friend? Uh, awesome the show. Real? Did you get yeah. the blues? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, that's just good stuff, indeed, isn't it, my friend? Oh, you know it, man. It's 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 uh, the atmosphere of it's awesome when you're there live. Yeah. Feeling you gotta dig it. Yeah, and a black cat, man. It was uh, it's pretty much packed uh, wall to wall. Oh, that's good. That's yeah. really, that's really cool, considering that uh, 
the, the whole thing in Grand Forks just didn't go down because of the weather. It's nice to know that uh, she played know, in a packed house. Mother Nature, she can be an evil bitch sometimes. So, <laughs> yeah, so big ups to people who pretend that uh, to watch Nora and, and, and little Bobby and boys. Yeah, it's always a positive thing to get a good to get a good crowd because that means there's a chance to get more of this stuff happening in the area. I tell you what, dude, here in this town, we're like warriors of the weather. Absolutely, just like the mailman that was just on earlier. We we go through a uh, slow uh, sleet, sleet uh, yeah, rain, whatever. Whatever comes our way, my friend. So yeah, it was a good time all in all, and a uh, good holiday stretch. Yeah. I kind of kind of missed hanging out in the studio here, so. Well, yeah, but I got a hold of you tonight to remind you to uh, you know about the show. Uh, you were definitely uh, very enthused about coming on to the program. Oh yeah, and that's awesome to get the enthusiasm level up already on this first uh, live episode of the new year. And I, I do uh, thank you for uh, stopping by and uh, taking part here for the next couple of hours. Yeah, who's this sassy character to the left? I don't know. It looks like he's got a haircut. <laughs> Another one. I don't know, he looked like he may, may have did some bodybuilding uh, over the uh, the holiday break. Yeah, geez, uh, <laughs> you just uh, lifting uh, straight, like, bottles of water over there at work or what? Well, I'm trying to change my habits a little bit. You change know? his habits? Well, let's, first of all, let's introduce the man who's changing his habits. Back for 2010, Sugar Sean Slauson! Well, Happy New Year. <laughs> we got his music for you for 2011. Oh, it's party music, you know, it sounds good. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know they play this song at work, you know, and but I think it's by somebody else. So I, no, this is the Liza Minnelli version for it. Oh, it's okay. Gonna, it's kind of make you want to grope a coworker. <laughs> <laughs> depends on depends on who it is, I guess. I don't care if it's male or female. I'm, I'm getting the groove on, man. Hey, I'm doing the well, I mean, I should say who it is, but uh. what's up, sugar man? It's, Going all right. How are you got doing? Pretty good. You got your little flip cam gimmick. Yeah, up and ready to go here. You know, people I love her. Our... up and I put them down. <laughs> <laughs> you know, people, people, <laughs> people love what we're doing. You know, and have, you, have you been uh, going around doing uh, some uh, practice for your man on the street segment here in the last couple of weeks, or what's the deal? You say people love what we do. Well, you know, if you've been following me on YouTube, then yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, well, what if the people haven't been following on YouTube? You got to take into account well, that not everybody knows the genius of Sugar Sean. They should. Well, they I should know, know, but let's park, the, <laughs> let's park the ego in the garage for a moment, and let's hear what's okay. going on here. Yeah, I mean, you know, I've been doing a few, uh, well, on my YouTube channel. I don't know if you want me to promote it or not. Well, but, go ahead. Give us, you can uh, find it. YouTube.com slash Frankie Slauson. Who's show. that? Yeah, we don't know who that guy is. Uh, anyway, you you'll, find, you'll find my alter ego, you know. That'll okay. be my alter ego. Why can't anyway. you just put, like, Frankie Sassy Pants? Because they can't change the username. They're... YouTube guy. Really? <laughs> so once you pick a name, you're it's uh, stuck with Your name it. for life. It's just like Facebook. Same thing. Really? You're stuck for life. So, so, so what's it, the dealio about this uh, this feedback and this promoting, this you getting ready to be a man on the street in 2011? Well, you you know, all I all I say is you tell me what you want me to do and it'll well, be done. <laughs> see, I told you what I wanted out of this. I was wanting to know what the feedback's gonna be like because you oh. uh, you were talking basically out your butt. It seems like right now, but <laughs> oh yeah, we got people who listen to us everywhere. That's a good impression, impersonation <laughs> of me. No, no, this is more of your voice. Am I that nasally or what? Oh, <laughs> yeah, man. No, I'm just kidding, brother. What, now what's it? What's it? We're getting some good buzz. No, you know. Here? We're doing pretty good. I mean, now that I can do longer videos on YouTube and stuff, uh, it's been helping a lot. You know, well, yeah. what do they put more like uh, space for the videos on there or what? They must. I mean, uh, they're giving more people. Just put it a lower bitrate. <laughs> Ancient Slauson secret. Huh? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it, it, it's just uh, pretty exciting what you can do with uh, you know technology and stuff. So now, how's this going to benefit us? I don't know. It's all. <laughs> See, we, yeah, we yeah, gotta you're talking talk some A-game, but you're bringing me well, results. Maybe, <laughs> maybe we could get, like, a sponsorship or something. Maybe, sponsorship? You know. Well, that would be nice. Yeah. Uh, I thought you were going to be our hype man, too, Flav of Flav. I'll be your hype man, your panda bear, yeah, whatever. Boy, <laughs> well, you know what? I look for big things out of you in 2011. Oh, I, I do. Yeah, yeah. Me too. That means it's a, the year of Sugar Slauson. <laughs> I'm going to send you to a city council meeting. Yeah, that's your first assignment. <laughs> yep. Well, since the mayor and the mailman, they handled the Valley Home thing already. They, that's scratched off the list. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Yeah, they've already gone to that market, and, you know, God bless them for it. So we're going to let you go wherever else. I wonder, we must have had a tough time getting that place in between uh, Bingo. Uh, 
Oh, it is, you know. You know, it is hard to get their attention if bingo hours going on. Oh, I yeah. tell you, man, you, you pissed off a gray hair and what a bingo dauber, man. You're getting chased all the way down the hallway to the nurse's station. Show enough. 100%. I know that by experience. 100% natural fact. You used to date out there, right? What? Uh, what? <laughs> what, the heck are you, what the heck are you doing yeah, over this, Valley Home? This, right? this hot looking nurse, man. Jeez. She, yeah, uh, she, she was stays, a little kinky, man. She stays there too. She's got a roommate. It's kind of a bother, man. Yeah. <laughs> well, she was kind of deaf, so I didn't care. So you say we can't do a live remote from? Uh, you know home? what? Sky's the limit. We can. You know, yeah. let's, let's look into the weeks and months ahead. I want to send you up to the city council. Yep. And, and ask questions that do not pertain to the city. Yeah, I believe. When you. is Thief River going to get a strip club? You know, <laughs> stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Yes, uh, I know Beaver there. He would love to hear about that. Oh, and there we go. We need to call it Beavers. <laughs> he could be the owner. Yeah. yeah. Take over. Yeah. He could be a bouncer. Keeping that bar raised oh so high, you guys, yeah. all the time. <laughs> <laughs> we just want management over here real quick, of course. Okay, Sugar Sean, we got a lot, a lot of things to do here in 2011. Uh, yes, so we do. And we're going to be, uh, in the next couple of weeks, we'll talk about getting you some assignments. Heck yeah. You know, I'm, 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 I'm ready. I'm ready. your executive producers. You know, after, That's right. after thinking about this over the holiday weekend, I, I'm actually getting more excited now than I was whenever it was first announced. Before so, you went nuts at Christmas? Yeah. I mean, it's Did just you drink like, a lot of eggnog? Eggnog is mucus. We don't drink mucus. <laughs> really? What do you guys drink in the house? You bust out the schnapps or what? Well, uh, my my brother bought a uh, Coors Lake keg. You know. Yeah, but well, I didn't the, have the it. small little one you can fit in the fridge. Yeah. Oh yeah. come on, you guys are pussies. Do you have any sips? No, I I smelt it a little bit, so maybe that does that count? Oh, that's right. You don't drink beer. He no. refrains from the spirits. I do you drink whiskey? Drink water. <laughs> Just water all you'd like real vodka. Men, real men drink water. Real men drink yeah. vodka. Come on now. Well, guys, it's nice to know that uh, yeah. we've, had, we've had some great holiday <laughs> time. Oh, uh. we got a class that just got out here at the college. Studios this way. Come on, baby. Don't run away. <laughs> Away. Just don't because I'm the, blind. We're gonna have to close the blinds here, guys. Yeah, no just, kidding. <laughs> just because I'm blind, baby. Once you go blind, you never go back. <laughs> uh, all right, guys. We've. Uh, okay, come on. I think we've covered up what we've done over the holidays, yeah, yeah. and uh, well, let's get into some t- uh, some comments, some topics, and uh, one of the big things that kind of sprouted up here while we were away doing our thing here at the Tuesday Night Experiment was the rise of the Golden Homeless Voice or Golden Voice Homeless <laughs> yeah. DJ. Where did we find this guy, Ted Williams? Guy, I love Ted. You know. And I think I got a little clip here that talks a little bit about Ted's story. I'm gonna kill this uh, Love Unlimited Orchestra. Is that what it is? Yeah. I, <laughs> Man, I want a copy of that. <laughs> <laughs> Today is America. 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 Today I like this. I like how they got. And I don't know how well you guys see it because of the freaking sun, but it actually looks pretty, pretty neat. So Green Hornet over here that's playing today, and then True Grit is playing today as well. So yeah, it should be a uh, should be an all right movie. I hope. Uh, I heard it's uh, pretty funny. And that's what I want to see. I want to see a funny movie. So, movie that makes a person feel good rather than a movie that doesn't. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry for all you guys who were wanting me to see True Grit, but I'll probably wait till that comes out on DVD. I also did a, a little DVD shopping here yesterday. I actually went and bought a copy of The Social Network. I was going to rent it and whatnot, but I figured, no, I'm just going to I'm just gonna buy it. It's worth it. I heard it's a really good film, and... And tomorrow night I'll be watching that at my house or my house that I'm staying at right now. So, <laughs> so anyway, we'll see you guys after the movie. And I'll give you my review. All right, bye. By Ted Williams' voice. Okay, yeah. In five, four, three, two, one, action. What's the light again? Um, uh, let's just do something about uh, Golden Oldies. You're listening okay. to the the other state. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Take two. <laughs> <laughs> the other stations. Um, uh, no, I gotta go deeper. The other. Uh, there. We need a barf bucket. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the other stations play crap, but we play the oldies. All right, could we do one for uh, a, a chance to win concert tickets? And three, two, one. Make this money. Action.
Caller number nine. Number nine. One eight eight eight. Eight 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 eight. That's too many eights. <laughs> Come on, are you paying attention there in that room? <laughs> okay, next contest. All right, so we're gonna have this. Uh, we'll go. Oh, hey, ooh, 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 ooh. What do you got one? Lost a loved one in the family. <laughs> Feel it's time to drink. <laughs> We'll come, we'll come on over to the Bottle Bar Liquor Store where we're having a closeout sale on all 2010 wines. Everything must go. It's the dime sale. <laughs> At the Bottle Bar. <laughs> <laughs> like, have so you got some, yeah, we got the great See, music no, we here. Can, we can do it, man. Heck where's, yeah. where's our Ted Williams moment? The yeah. sun. Yeah, no kidding. Thank you for calling AT&T. Oh, but you see your, your call is very important But you see, you're, you're missing something. See... Something that's most important. Wait, we don't get some Genesis quad. Oh no no no! <laughs> You're missing the afro. You know you gotta have that. That was the the money maker right there. Put my stocking hat on there. <laughs> with that, with that, with that, that, that was the money maker. Hat. I we guarantee. Can have this, this, we can do a theater of the mind thing. Sure. Okay. That's what he said afro in the video. On. Can't you hear it touching the microphone? Wait, hold on, hold on. Should we put some music on that may that may uh, have a little more funk to it? Sure. Uh, okay, let's get all that Sergio Mendes for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there you go. Well, that's only 17 seconds. You've seen Shaft. <laughs> is this Shaft? Well, this is like Something a, a like Shaft-like that. thing. That was yeah. just a 17 yeah. second clip here. Yeah. Should we go, uh, okay, I got mid-60s brassy DJ bit, so I want some energy, I want I want some full-on enthusiasm. Here we go. <laughs> In world, at the disco party, the drunk guy shows up. Hey, hey how you doing? Uh, how you doing, buddy? Here's my friend Tequila. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Go hey, man. Drink, drink. <laughs> Coming to theaters this week. Tequila on the beach. Starring. Uh, this guy. This guy. <laughs> this guy right here. Special appearances by Morgan Freeman. <laughs> <laughs> no people under 17 a minute without a parent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, man, oh wow! I, I, I love that, Matt. That is funny. <laughs> Eric Estrada stars ooh, in the new production. Start, that, of the start year. that one over, man. That sounds like a news bed. Okay. <laughs> All right, here All we right, go. Right. We're going to get Blind Dog a big okay. time radio uh, voice work job with this one. Here, okay, here we go. Here we go. When breaking news breaks, <laughs> we win. break in. <laughs> 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 We're on the scene first with breaking news. Now to our news chopper. Here's Chopper Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't see much traffic going on over there. There's some going down. I can look over by a back road here from the gloomy. Looks like a couple of cars have stopped. They may be having a, I don't know, a brief little party out here in this back road. Back to you, Irv. <laughs> And for up-to-date weather forecast information, let's head over to Weather Central with Steven Stevenson. Hi, this is Steven Stevenson with the weather forecast today. <laughs> Looks like the sun's going to be out, then it's going to get dark, and then it's going to get bright again. <laughs> and for the drive home during your work week, tune in to the 5 o'clock cruise. Hey, everybody, it's a 5 o'clock cruise, a cruise you just can't lose. We got some comedy bits and all your favorite hits. That's yeah. a 5 o'clock cruise. Spend your nights with Silly Sally. Hello, darling. This is Silly Sally. I have a deep cigarette throat and voice. <laughs> Breaking news 24-7, 1490 a.m. Your home of classic hits. Yeah. We got 19 seconds. We got to kill this, buddy. We oh. break news before news even breaks. Go for yeah, it. how was that? I think that one's a dandy. Let's roll tape on that. Oh. I, think we got I think the YouTube audience will like this, I tell you. Oh, boy. Well, you know, we're just trying to create this theater of the mind thing. Yeah. yeah. We've been inspired by it's this. It's like you, the listener, are in the voiceover booth right now. Exactly. I mean, we are capturing... Dude, well, let's get I, Sean's uh, movie time music going. I can't erase magic, guys. All right, Sean, tell us what's on the DVD review for this week. Well, this week, well, you know, we've been talking about Facebook a little bit in our little comedy here. Oh, don't do that movie. Come on. The now. Social Network oh, comes out today. Now, uh, do you have plans to watch this movie? I actually, review here? I actually, yes, I actually was thinking about buying it, well, either buying it or renting it this weekend. 
So I got the weekend off. So yeah, I was thinking about just doing wait it. a week and go to a pawn shop, and you should be able to find a copy. Pawn there. shops don't have everything, especially the one in town here. <sighs> Oh, Trust yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, kill the heat with the one pawn shop we were going to do some business with. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I love the pawn shop. The pawn shop here is great. You know, the guy yeah. is just wonderful. You know? uh, if he doesn't shoot you, but anyway. Uh, Slauson, you're nothing. Uh, no. Slauson, you're offending all the potential advertisers. Do you think yeah. that guy listened to you're our show? You're nothing but a... Now, come on, okay, get back to what okay. you're saying. <laughs> okay, we're, we're going to talk about a classic right now, that a movie that came out 20 years ago. Okay. 1991. If, it, if it, did you only get one new release here? These are the things that I found. Oh, okay, okay. They were still on the releases here. All right, all right. Dances with Wolves. This came out with the 20th anniversary edition on Blu-ray okay. and DVD. Was that about nine hours, that movie? I remember yeah. watching yeah. that in school. Is that a, is that a double disc? Uh, yes, <laughs> yes. It, and it has the DVD and the Blu-ray included, buff, of course. Buff, buffalo. Buffalo. <laughs> Tatanka. I haven't seen that movie in years. Wow. Are you talking uh, Tatanka? You make fire! Tell fire. us more about this movie, Sean. Tatanka. Well, if you Thanks remember, it's, it's, it's Kevin Costner <laughs> and his, his journey through the wilderness and all the adventures that he would have uh, and encounters you know, with westerns. It's almost like yeah. a lost western. How come they never have easterns? <laughs> do, a little, uh, do a little teepee creeping in that movie. Uh, yeah! I had the MGM edition of it like well obviously it's from mgm but i mean well, like the, the dvd difference? of it did, yeah. that did that go bankrupt too or like? yeah no i don't i don't know what i did with that copy it was it was a nice had a nice package too it was like an old time you know felt package or whatever cover case well, you, don't, or whatever. you don't watch the package you watch the movie yeah <laughs> gotta love the package gotta love wow. the package if they my whole thing on that is if they if they package it really nicely you know you know it's gonna be good you know anyway Okay, come on, Tatanka. Piranha. Oh, the mo Are you afraid of piranhas at all? No. Well, no. that comes out of Blu-ray and DVD today. Okay. Piranha, the movie. Uh, is it now? Are you gonna watch this one too? Probably not. Okay. No. I mean, I I was thinking about that too, but then it's like, nah, I'd rather watch Social Network. Well, I think was that, that one of those movies that was coming up with the big 3D boom? Yeah. Last fall? Yeah. It was one of those. One is of the Social Network in 3D? <laughs> No, no. See, they, they see they can't put everything in 3D. You know? Yeah, they can. They should. They shouldn't. I mean, there's all. If they're gonna do it, make sure it's a. There's yeah, a purpose. Up, like next up, Woody Allen's movies. Like all like tr <laughs> like uh, like the Tron movies would be perfect in 3D. You know, oh, well, but on. not not Jeff everything. Bridges. You know, yeah. Okay, and uh, the last one that I got for the week is uh, something that you know since we're talking about science and whatnot you know since our, our guest was uh, a doctor Dr. and all Rutledge, that and we thank uh, him once again for coming on the universe the seven wonders of the solar system comes out on blu-ray 3d now that'd be trippy oh these <laughs> are all today out on blu-ray yeah TV. today right uh, on january right 11th on. 2011 he walked out to walmart and had his pen out and said my pen is my hey, uh, yeah do you mind if uh, i pop this in the blu-ray player quick and just give her a test run <laughs> <laughs> and then the cops That's came and they arrested me all, all right. right but enough about uh, your social life yeah Let's yeah yeah and now it's time for the picks of the week. Picks, picks of, the of the week. The first Sugar picks of the week. Sean's pick of the week. <laughs> Are you making fun of my nasal pro or problem there? No, 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 I was just clearing my throat. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. No, Click. no, I just had some mucus up there. Oh, you mean some egg Man, dog? dude, there yeah. is a wicked cough going around, man. All right, Sean. All right. I'm not Give going the to the business. dentist. So this pick of the week, the uh, current pick of the week, is something that I actually picked up here the week of Christmas. It came out, and I was so happy. Three, two, flu? No, 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 no. <laughs> Family Guy. It's a trap. Oh, oh yeah. They're, uh... And I finally got the last. This is the last one, and I actually have all three of them on DVD, though. Family Guy. They still showing that thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just had the new episode on. They had the new episode out on Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. Coming back with animation <laughs> domination there. Did you watch Bob's Burgers then? Oh, yes, I did. I actually. God, that, that was lame. Come on now. That, that was funny. Just... Oh, I mean, how do you find that funny? His man? wife had a manly voice. I, I was well, laughing. This guy's doing practically all the voices. Wow, well, yeah, but he's, it... like a, he's a low rent set. And then. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. Do you remember the first burger that they had that was for sale or whatever that they were going to promote before, when the he health inspectors came in? 
I think I was watching uh, some backlog Boardwalk Empire episodes <laughs> on my DVR, so I didn't. It was the child episode. molester with candy. Oh, you know? forget that. Because <laughs> oh, you know they use candy sometimes. No, anyway, enough of that. Enough of that. <laughs> That's Bob's too burgers. sticky. Too sticky. Yeah, John. it's too sticky. Okay, so here's yeah. my little review on that DVD. Uh, it's Seth MacFarlane's take on the original Star Wars trilogy. Because that's what the world needs is more Seth MacFarlane. Heck yeah. Wonderful versions. That guy is a genius. Talk about another, pu- <laughs> talk about another puker when he talks. That guy is a genius. <laughs> I mean, I love Family Guy. And that's not Panda. That's just uh, love. You know? <laughs> it jumped the shark two or three years ago. Yeah, but, but if... Uh, you if, notice how they use filler on that show? Way that's, too much of it. Yeah, that's people. exactly why a lot of people like it. Because that's why I like it. Because of the illusion. I'm, watch, I'm still watching The Simpsons, but I'm not, I've tuned out the Family Guy stuff. But I'm glad that you enjoy it, though. That's yeah, really and, and uh, it's a trap. Isn't over or isn't as overly funny as you know the uh, the other two, oh, Blue Harvest and something, 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 Dark Side. Something, something, Dark Side. <laughs> <laughs> but it still manages to deliver the goods, and ends things on a high <laughs> enough note. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey man. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But I, I do recommend it because it, it's something that, you know, if you now watch, if any of you listeners out there have the uh, complete series of that set uh, on Blu-ray or DVD, I, I do recommend, uh, you know, watch it a few times and, and, and really paying attention to all the funny, you know, other than just the story of Star Wars, but the funny illusions that they uh, have. They use a Pee Wee reference in this one. I like, I thought it was pretty funny. Well, there you have me. <laughs> oh, God, dude. Uh, you guys want to wheel me by Walmart? In the second one, in the second one, they hey, use... Hey, hold on, hold on. We have a Pee-wee one, too. Does that make us money? Fine. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, I mean... Oh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got one more. <laughs> I'm taking a wild guess here that you actually used that site that I showed you, didn't you? I, this is stuff I had Some earlier. I, 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 I had this stuff earlier, dude. Okay, I wasn't sure. So anyway, uh, Family Guy, It's a Trap Rubens, is man. my current the man. Yep. Family Guy, It's a Trap is my current pick of the week. And now, of course, you know, without the the current, uh, you... I don't know about that one. This is this one for me. That one, last one for me is just. <laughs> Come oh, on, yeah. for for once, I want to hear a fart sound effect. And if you have to do it for real, go ahead. Yeah. All you get is this. <laughs> uh... The classic pick of the week. Classic. Now you know, and this, pick of the week. And I, I love doing this part because I can pick pretty much anything retro. Yeah, just that like I how want. he didn't pick a Christmas story. Yeah. <laughs> Are you still on that? That was like three weeks ago. Come on. I now. know, man. It may be a classic in your you know, heart. No, I watched it like five times in a row on TBS. Yeah. And I thought of you, buddy. Oh, you did? And yeah, what, what so you I, th- I was wondering if uh, Frankie Five uh, Sassy Pants is watching this. <laughs> I watched it a little bit. Of, I watched it a little bit. <laughs> Sounds like somebody has asthma over there. <laughs> Sounds like yeah. a legal one. <laughs> I, I watched it a little bit on you know, Christmas, but see, that's what I mean. They overplay it too much, and it's like... Well, it's only one job. Yeah, it's man. It's only once a year, dude. I'd like to see 24 hours of Jingle All the Way yeah. or something. <laughs> Which I did watch with I my bet family. I watched while we're, that Jerry Lewis telethon too. We man. watched Jingle All the Way while we were open Christmas oh, presents or whatever man, at geez. my family's place. Anyway, so oh so the classic. Your thing, parents give you gas money to go home. I I got money. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Ooh yeah, I do. But they're Dig just it. saying, get the hell out of our house. What are you coming out here for? <laughs> hey, I was good to my nephews and nieces this year. I tell you, <laughs> I was very good to them. Anyway, the classic pick of the week. It's not other than the Police Academy box set. When did you discover that you were so beautiful? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to say I'm beautiful? Anyway. Yeah, the Police Academy is all right. And I actually own the whole box set, and I've seen every one of them. And, and for any 80s you fan... Know, the, the, the first Police Academy probably came out before you were even born, dude. Actually, it came out the year after I was born. Oh. Yeah. I was born... I was born. <laughs> I was born in 1983, so it came out in '84. Actually, the production was in '83. It was released See? in '84, now, but you the know. screenplay I bet was written before you were even yes. born. So let's talk a little bit about the police cabbie box, shall we? Oh, uh, you know. But, uh, 
Are we going to talk about Jonesy? This is a great box set. The Police Academy series is my favorite comic series along with the... Along with the Naked Gun series. I'm going to keep talking. National Lampoon's Vacation series, Awesome Power series, and the Scary Movie series. Oh, behave! I'm so glad that the series is finally out on DVD. And uh, the only problem I have is that you see, the first one, second, third, sixth, and the seventh are in widescreen, which is perfect. But number four and number five, for some reason, they had to put in full screen, which would be fine if it was full screen. Budget cuts, budget if cuts. If it was full screen and 16 by 9 in a well, widescreen. Yeah. But, no, they had to go full screen, 4 by 3 so I don't know why they would do that. Yeah, but you better write them. As far as features... Get your patent Okay, do they have any good outtakes in there? Yeah, they, they got... Uh, yeah, especially the, the first one is the 20th anniversary edition of the, of the set. Oh, yeah. Uh, and then uh, the rest are just uh, trailers and documentaries. It's, it comes like in a seven-part documentary. Woo, Each hey. disc has like five minutes or whatever. Uh, oh, so, go. yeah, so there you go, everybody, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and germs, if, you know... Sugar Shots. I don't know we can fit that many people in here. Oh, we've got a crap audience yeah. here. Woo-hoo. Did you guys bring red bugs? <laughs> <laughs> Where's Ted Williams? <laughs> Magic 98.9. <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully you'll be able to hear me a little bit, even though the uh, heater is uh, kicking in a little bit. I don't have one of those, uh, those fancy dancy. Uh, or fancy smancy, uh, what you call it, auto starters or whatever. I wish I did, but I don't. So it kind of sucks a little bit. Okay, so I just got done seeing the movie, The Green Hornet. And I thought that movie was pretty good. Uh, overall, uh, well, it's based, obviously, it's based on the comic book legend. And I believe, I think there was a TV show based on. As far as I remember, a TV show based on that uh, that series. As far as I know, I mean I don't know for sure, but I think there was at one time. I've never seen it. I want to see this movie overall because of the fact that I, I really enjoy Seth Rogen, and I think he's a very really good actor. Some people don't like Seth Rogen because they think he's too plain or whatever, or or, or you you know. He kind of plays the same character in a lot of his movies, but depending on depending on what the film is, I think it, it's not always you know he doesn't always play the same person. And that's always what I get out of it. Anyway. But this is a perfect movie for him playing a superhero for once. Um, and then the, the the Chinese guy, I thought that was uh, at first I thought it was jo- John Chow. The guy who was in the Harold of Kumar and Star Trek and all that, he looked just like the guy, but finding out that it was somebody different, because uh, I think John Child can speak uh, American English pretty well, as far as I know. But uh, yeah, it was it was a pretty good uh, film, uh, pretty much uh, your, your typical good guy bad guy uh, feature. Nothing too much uh, all the ordinary to say that hasn't been said already, but I do recommend. Uh, you guys uh, seeing this because it's a very very good film uh, I give it pretty much four out of five stars because there's a few scenes in, in the movie that could have been you know you know not a part of the, the movie but uh, probably more or less used for deleted scenes or uh, special features in, in the film or whatever but uh, when the film comes out on DVD and Blu-ray but overall I, I really liked it and I, and I hope you guys uh, get a chance to see it and uh, yeah, so there you go. That's my review on True Grit. All I'm going to do now is just go down to Walmart and probably go down to Subway a little bit, and look around, get something to eat. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So uh, sorry this video was kind of short. It's not as long as you would think it would be, but uh, there really isn't a, a whole lot going on today. I hope you guys enjoy my little part of being on the radio. Uh, if you guys tune into this uh, weekend's episode or, or uh, this Tuesday night. It's a karaoke night, and we all, all three of us are gonna be doing some singing, and even myself. So if you guys want to hear some uh, songs or whatever from uh, us DJs or whatnot, well, a Tuesday night experiment. I guarantee, I, I recommend you guys tune in. So, anyway, 
we'll see you guys again for another great Frank Slauson Show <coughs> video. And uh, until then, bye bye.